Mayday, mayday, nerf alert. Mayday, mayday, nerf alert. Actually, it's okay because buff alert as well. Buff alert on the seven stars. Oh, come on. Android 17 on the banner. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, no. But anyway, guys, you heard it right. The most anticipated changes on these seven stars that I have in my bag. Hey, <laughs> yes, I have all of them here in my main account. Was finally dropped. I'm not really sure if they're already final. And of course, I'm not also sure if they're already finished doing that. But anyway, we're going to go through all of them one by one on this video. And let's see what's going to be the change. Is it going to be painful? Is it going to be disappointing? Or is it going to be something that will make us hot? Let's go. How is the grind, boys? How is your grind? Well, like what I told you guys, my grind here for this update is almost probably at 80% finish. It's not only about those new story mode maps and also Blackbeard Orb, but yeah, currently I'm just chilling. That's the reason why my face is no longer that serious, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, we're gonna start this off by checking out one of the most OP units that we have witnessed here in Ulcer Tower Defense. That's gonna be Cooler 7. And I think that it's really gonna be a big question guys because if you don't know cooler 7 is basically a must-have for those raids without any player that has a cooler that's gonna be really really tough so yep that's the reason why this is really gonna be big and let's just try to upgrade him you know what i'm not gonna go through every single upgrade because i already know what they did to cooler 7 it's basically about his spam ability you know uh the baby coolers okay let's just max him out price will not be changed still gonna be thirty-one thousand to be maxed and this is gonna be the moment of truth so if you guys remember if i'm not mistaken 6 million HP every 6 seconds That was the self-clone ability was doing And if we're gonna use the self-clone right now Bam, look at that guys Cooldown is no longer 6 seconds obviously It's now gonna be 60 seconds So that's gonna be times 10 and the HP of the baby cooler here, as you guys can see, is not even 60 million. So that is a nerf, guys. All right. So times 10 SPA, but for the damage, it's only going to be times five. So basically, they took off half of the damage of cooler seven star, which is not really surprising because like what I told you guys, he's really, really OP, especially in bigger map or even on decent sized map. As long as you will have like a slower unit, definitely it's going to be devastating to have like a lot of coolers spawning those babies. But the good thing here about this nerf, guys, since the Cooler 7 starts no longer spawning his babies every 6 seconds. It's now gonna be a lot less cooler spawns. I think that's the best and also the quickest way to answer the lag issue. Because I mean guys, I have a decent PC, right? I'm using Ryzen 9 and I'm also laggy on those raids that I did when we were spamming Cooler 7. So let alone those mobile players, right? Rip mobile and potato PC players. But I think that it's kind of fixed now. But at least, you know, even though he got nerfed, I don't think that it's gonna be like a big 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 nerf because still his price will be 31,000 pretty sure that he's still gonna be a very viable unit not only raid modes but also in story modes who knows depending on the map let me just place uh, maybe a buffer here just to make sure that there's nothing changed on the mechanics of his spawning just wanted to buff him guys and let's see if you know the HP of the spawn will actually be affected self clone and look at that guy, still gonna be 20 million. So, yep, that is the change that happened to our boy Cooler7. It was a nerf, yes, but I think it's for the good, so that it's not gonna be that laggy. I know that you might be saying in the comment section right now, hey, no, they could have just made it like 60 million, so the damage will not be changed. Well, yes, they could. Are you the developer? Am I the developer? I'm not. You're not, so... <laughs> Alright, so the next one is... I think that we are all expecting this, and I think it's very obvious that this change will actually arrive. So we have here our Zoro 7 star, and if you actually watch my showcase video about Zoro, pretty sure that you know what I'm talking about. So 5 star Zoro and also 6 star Zoro can make those units or enemies bleed, even though he got... He literally got no sword. Not even a bread knife, but they can bleed. But when we checked our Zoro 7 star, when we got it, well, for some reason, Reason, he got literally three swords, complete swords of this arsenal, even covered with hockey. But guess what? He was not a bleeder. After this update, he is now a bleeder, guys. That is the very expected change. Look at this, guys. Look at that. I mean, sorry for the aura of Cooler 7, but as you guys can see, he can now make them bleed. Of course, we no longer need to check how many ticks. It's just a regular bleed. And like what I told you guys, it is actually very, very obvious that <laughs> Zoro really needs to have this one. I really think that it's not even like a change. It's more of a fix because I'm pretty sure they, they might have just, you know, forgotten about it. And as you guys can see, they also have fixed 
the broken thingy about Zoro as well. He no longer have his dual mechanic system. The circle AOE of Zoro became bigger. I might be wrong about this, guys, but all I can remember about Zoro is he got a semi AOE cone together with a circle AOE cone. That was really, <laughs> that was really the reason why I titled my video about Zoro 7 star. He's broken because he's literally broken, not because he's OP, but he needs some fix. And while the developers made a move, but anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below uh, if you think that the size of the circle AOE of Zoro actually changed. But for the damage, um, I can't remember it correctly, guys. For the damage and also for the range. So 1.6 million. That's going to be 1,677,951.28 plus bleed guys all right so plus bleed that's gonna be multiplied to five or six that is now a lot lot better and if his range actually became better and at the same time maybe the size of the circle e became bigger kind of like madara size i'm pretty sure it became bigger because i cannot remember the circle a of zoro being this big kind of like naruto you know what i'm saying so yep that is really a big big jump for our zoro seven star is he a meta i don't know i mean he's he will still cost you guys like literally almost the same amount of damage 1.7 million to max out a Zoro he is a hybrid unit as well I'm sure that those big changes will really make those players who grind a Zoro really really happy guys and just to show you I guess that everything is not fake let me just spawn a unit with more than a million HP all right there we go guys I'm gonna spawn an air unit with 2.1 million HP and we should be able to see them bleed look at that guys um actually maybe for this one come on Zoro attack this air unit look it's now bleeding and poof he's gone all right so that is really a big 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 difference so for the next one guys let me just sell the zoro this is also another controversial unit that's gonna be the seven star ssjb vegeta and if you guys are not aware the reason why it is controversial is because the six star vegeta majin like the pre-evolved version of this ssjb vegeta it actually got a metal ability that hits one billion so that is really really a monster unit uh well of course it kind of balance as well because you will lose the unit after using the abilities and also you can only place one vegeta six star at a time so it's kind of like if you're going to compare the previous six star vegeta majin to the seven star evolved form well it's something that will make you think or probably even regret but anyway guys let's now max out this new vegeta I'm just trying to watch uh, his damage growth here i think that yeah i think that the upgrades here for our vegeta blue kind of changed i might be wrong i mean there's a video available on our channel to check out or if you wanted to check out the previous version of vegeta blue but uh, yeah one thing is for sure that was really really underwhelming really disappointing okay final bomb lotion is here yeah he still doesn't have any manual ability well of course the final bomb lotion if he will have that final bomb lotion as a skill then maybe he should also disappear just like the vegeta majin six star but yeah I, he's still gonna be a full aoe guys only a ground unit take note of that unlike zoto seven star he's not gonna be a hybrid unit his new damage now is 3.1 million i'm pretty sure that his damage was not 3.1 million so i guess the change that happened was uh, onto his damage and having 100 range i think that that's really good and again guys full aoe with 10 seconds so it's kind of like yeah maybe he's not doing like 1 billion in one attack just like his predecessor six star vegeta majin but at least what you spend on the unit will stay in the game until you die and as guys can see his price will be clocking at uh, 1.6 million roughly yeah roughly 1.6 million so yeah i think that that's also a very good change that they did to vegeta seven star is that enough i'm not sure i mean of course i don't want to call everything a meta guys only stupid people call everything a meta because well they're stupid anyway guys let me just sell this let's now go on to our broly navy said that they're still working on the stats that weren't done because they're still testing it so probably they're talking about those six star units that we got from the exclusive banner because i mean not gonna lie it kind of feels like they're just a different version of everything maybe they're just trying to make sure they're not gonna overlap damage wise these seven star it does make sense right if it's gonna be a lot more op than the seven stars people will ask some more buff for the seven star and it's gonna be an endless cycle so anyway let's just max this broly out and oh my god was it really 39 million okay let me just check my video real quick guys all right i'm actually looking at the previous stats of broly seven star and it seems that before broly's spa is still gonna be the same 16 his range will be 70 so from 70 it's now 115 which is really really a massive boost and for the damage as well oh my god you can only place one broly so they really have to put like a lot of upgrades here it seems that the jump will be big because you can only place one guys it's not gonna be multi 
multiplied by 8. From 21 million damage, it's now gonna be 39 million. I didn't level up my Broly 7 star. He's still at level 84. So actually, guys, since I'm already checking out everything on my channel, let me just max everyone here so that I can also, you know, show you guys the difference. I'm just gonna show you a screenshot, I guess. So editing snow, do that for me. Okay, I'm now looking at the previous stats of Vegeta 7 star. Before it was 1,868,760. Now it's gonna be 3.1 million. So that's actually a big jump. More than a million additional. For SPA, it's gonna be the same. For the range, there will be like a boost of 10 range. So it seems that our Vegeta 7 star actually gained like 10 additional range, which is really big because, you know, considering that he is a full AoE unit. Okay, I'm now looking at the old stats of Soto 7 star. So before it seems that his damage was 1,813,869. So from 1.8 million, it's now gonna be 1.6 or 1.67. So they, they lowered it, but not really that much, you know. So I guess that it's okay. And for the SPA, it's just gonna be the same seven, even though technically Zoro's damage was nerfed together with the addition of the bleeding i think that that's still a very big jump for our soto here so for the range from 100 range he also got a boost of 10 range additional so from 100 it's now 110 so yeah basically those are the changes that happen and if you guys are stat nerds let me just uh, use our power magus here so for broly it's gonna be 161 obviously that's way more than you need uh, to cover the entire food map and full aoe guys for vegeta 7 star it's gonna be the same 100 40 and for our Zoro is gonna be 154 which they should be because well they are seven star and they are not really that easy to get basically each and every one uh well except for um wait i don't have this cooler okay each and every one of the seven star guys will now be able to cover the entire food map except for a cooler but cooler can actually cover the entire food map in a different way that's just by spawning you know but anyway guys together with the music and also music again for the max buff for our seven star broly that's gonna be Oh my god, so many numbers. Oh, okay. I think the damage was so OP that the game resetted my character. All right, so 138,209,891.54. Insane, man. For our Vegeta, it's now going to be 10,968,137.71. We're talking about units with full AoE here, guys. So for those who are crying about what happened to Kira or Light Yagami, <laughs> this is the answer, guys. This is the answer. Oh, wait. We lost the buff. Okay, so for our Zoda, that's going to be 5,872,829.28 seems like a lot a lot lesser compared to uh these other two monsters from dragon ball but then again guys zoro is now a bleeder unit that will still be multiplied to six or five so basically around 30 million for zoro roughly so what do you guys think about the changes are you guys happy with these changes let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you actually grinded most of the units just like i did we'll actually have every single one of them except for cell max because oh my god android 17 please appear in the banner oh actually speaking of cell guys i have no clue if they change the stats of cell but anyway guys that's all i'll see you again in the next one stay cold whoops all of the seven stars here in acd are now changed out